aquatic plants are plants that have adapted to living in aquatic environments, salt water or fresh water. They are also referred to as hydrophytes or macrophytes. A macrophyte is an aquatic plant that grows in or near water and is either emergent, submergent, or floating. In lakes and rivers, macrophytes provide cover for fish and substrate for aquatic invertebrates, produce oxygen, and act as food for some fish and wildlife. Macrophytes are primary producers and are the basis of the food web for many organisms. Macrophytes have a strong effect on soil chemistry and light levels. Aquatic plants slow down the flow of water and capture pollutants and other sediments. The plants will eventually absorb the pollutants into their tissue and the excess sediment will settle down to the bottom of the body of water. Macrophytes are different from algae because macrophytes are big enough to see with the naked eye. But microscopic algae cannot be seen with the naked eye. 5. Seaweeds are not vascular plants and do not have a root system. Rather they are multicellular marine algae and therefore are not typically included among aquatic plants. Aquatic plants require special adaptations for living submerged in water or at the water's surface. The most common adaptation is a renchyma, but floating leaves and finely dissected leaves are also common. Aquatic plants can only grow in water or in soil that is permanently saturated with water. They are therefore a common component of wetlands. One of the largest aquatic plants in the world is the Amazon water lily. One of the smallest is the minute duckweed. Many small aquatic animals use plants like duckweed for a home or for protection from predators, but areas with more vegetation are likely to have more predators. Some other familiar examples of aquatic plants might include floating heart, water lily, lotus, and water hyacinth.